What's up, y'all? Y'all know I'm I, I'm breaking the internet today. Uh oh, I'm actually going to um. I just figure I would talk business to y'all while I work, and I got a good about a good hour because I have something to do after this. But let me take this bracelet off. What is up? Let's talk. Let's talk about investing, baby. Let's talk about businesses and me. <laughs> Do not judge me. What's up, y'all? I am, I'm actually about, this is some behind the scenes work, okay? We're about to get done. There you go, Asia. You almost never, your tags never fails. What's up, Tracy? What's up, Alicia? I am about to do some work while we are, um, while we are chatting. Let me pull up, so, ooh, ooh. Let me pull up my Facebook so I can read your comments as well. And I will be saving this for my, um, oh girl, I pulled all this in the bun, huh? Hold up. I don't want this in the bun. Uno momento. I got that fine hair, y'all. Let me see if I can pull that out. Uh-oh. Uh, not literally. Not out my scalp. Not literally. Um, anyway, that's fine. What's up, y'all? I'm just gonna, I want to talk business with you guys. So let's talk. You guys can see under here. So I'll show you. You guys don't usually see under here because I'm usually hiding it. But this is my jewelry fixing kit. Now that doesn't go there. But these are some bags that I used to ship. These are my business cards. So I'm actually going to package some items up as I am, um, you know, uh, getting ready. So what I do is, I, what's up, y'all? I actually put some of my jewelry in um, Ziploc bags. And I use comments sold. So what I do is, and this is not, like, I'm really not trying to tell y'all exactly all this. Like, we just about to talk about investing. So what I wanted to talk about, this is, I'm just doing this while we're talking. I wanted to talk about investing because my husband brought up a good point today or the other day. He was telling me that um, the stimulus packages were approved and stuff like that, right? He was like, uh, I think it's like $600 stimulus packages. And I've been, oh Lord, I don't want to mess nothing up. And I've been seeing people post like, what are you going to do? How are you going to invest? I even got a message from, um, was it my, I, I think it's a company that I used for my LLC. And they were literally like, um, we just want to let you know, we have some great news that, you know, they approved the stimulus and da, 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 da. And so I'm sitting here thinking like, you know what? I should talk to people literally like, what are y'all going to do with that? Like, are you going to invest in a business? Are you going to, and this is not just paparazzi related. It's like, literally, are you going to invest in a business? Are you going to invest? Um, like, what are you going to do? And then I thought about it too, because a lot of times, um, when I may talk to like my, um, my team or other people in business, a lot of times people think that investing in business is just money. Investing in business is not just money, y'all. So that's just what I want to talk to y'all about. So y'all know we just have these candid conversations. I love to talk with y'all. I love to chat with y'all. Um, so any questions, any um, anything you guys want to add, anything you want to talk about, put it in the comments and we'll address it. But what I want to talk about is, first of all, don't, when you get that stimulus, y'all, don't be just like, don't, I know Christmas time is here and I kind of feel like it's interesting that that's happening around Christmas time, but don't take that and literally just splurge and spend it, right? It's one thing if, if you need it for something, but this is what I am going to share. And this is what I learned when I started my business, because when I started my business, um, the paparazzi business, that is when I started it, let me tell you what happened. Me and my husband made an agreement that we would not go spending the money that we earned. Did I do this right? We wouldn't go spending the money that we earned um, on like just things that we needed. Oh, come on, Dymo. Hold on. We wouldn't just go spending it on stuff that we needed because we knew that if we kept spending the money that we needed to invest on the things that we needed for the house, we would never get out of a place of needing stuff for the house. And we would always have to dig in that money. And so I wanted to get to a point where we didn't have to dig in that money anymore. You understand what I'm saying? We wanted to get to a point where now, because we've invested so much in our business, we don't have to just keep digging in there. We can literally, um, you know, we can use it now when we want to. 
So I just wanted to, um, I wanted to go over that because I think sometimes when people start their business, they're like, well, I got to use it for this and I got to do this and I had to spend it on that. And the thing, the truth of the matter is if you keep spending your money on stuff like that, that seems like it's so, so important at that time, you'll never get ahead. You already back? Hey. Oh, I'm now I'm live talking about business. <laughs> um, this is heavy. Um, so, um, the thing is you'll never get ahead that way. And I hear a lot of people, well, I need it for this and I need it for that. If you never, if you do what you've always done, then you will be like, you, you'll have the same thing that you've always had. It's only when you do something different, that's going to bring about a change. So we decided when we started our um, jewelry business that we're not just going to dip into it. Every dime that we make, we're going to invest it and flip it and invest it and flip it. How do you think that? all these millionaires have like multiple streams of income and they have all this money coming in from all these other places because they invest. They put the money in. They don't just spend all the money. You know what I'm saying? Have you ever heard of like the saying, work now, play later? Like work now, let that money work for you now. Play later. There will be a time where you will be able to play. There will be a time where, you'll be, where you will be able to enjoy the fruits of your labor. Let me count these. <laughs> All right, so, because I have to count my stuff when I get it in. And then sometimes I have to add it. But if you guys have any questions, let me know. Hello. So, yeah, and then, two, another thing I want to talk about as well is another thing that people tend to not think about when they think investing. They just think, oh, you know, I got to have all this money, I mean, to invest. And guess what? You do have to have money. That is a real, like, it takes it takes money to make money. And scared money don't make money, right? You can't be scared to invest in yourself, you know? But it also requires investing your time. Somebody uh, comment time in the comments. Comment time. You got to invest your time. If you want something to, just like when you're in school, right? You don't just like hop in school and never show up, never do the homework, never do studying, never do none of that. And then just think you just going to pass with flying colors and you're going to get all these, um, these diplomas and degrees and all that kind of stuff. It's the same thing. You have to invest your time too. And I think that sometimes people forget that whenever you're starting a business, like you have to sow, sow some seeds of time, money, all that like investing is not just money because someone can literally it's like this i tell my kids i'm like well mainly um my oldest and then i have some young people that i talk to as well like at my church right and i tell them i'm like so what do you want to do and they tell me oh well i want to do this and i say okay so if you want to do that you want to start this business and y'all i'm working and talking to y'all too because i got to update my inventory but if, if i'm like if you want to work I mean, and you want to do this business, what do you need to start that business? How much money is it going to take for you to start that business? And they're like, I don't know. Like, have you looked at any vendors to start that business? They're like, well, I don't know. Okay, so then you have to do your due diligence. You have to invest your time. If, if someone were to just, like, no one's going to just throw money in your lap to start a business or, uh, yeah, they're not just going to throw money in your lap to start a business and you haven't even done your due diligence and you haven't invested your time to figure out, you know, how to work it. So a lot of times people will come in my inbox and if this is you, I apologize, but like, I don't take it back. But sometimes people come in my inbox and they give me a list of problems and a list of what they want their business to be. And to me, that's a little bit of a red flag because I don't hear people talking about, well, I've done this, I've done this, I've done that. Is there anything else that you could tell? You know what I'm saying? They talk about, it's just like a kind of like a complaining and they haven't done their due diligence or they'll come asking questions that are obvious, that are questions that are Googleable. That's my word, Googleable. <laughs> They're questions that are Googleable. So you have to invest time and um and money into your business whatever your business is if like let's say you want to be a barber you can't just like you know just well give me some money and i'm gonna just open a salon why would people want to come to you why would they want to come to you to um 
for you to cut their hair? Do they feel like you have knowledge of the subject? Are you good at what you do? Have you studied it? Have you sat under someone? Have you, have you learned the skill? You get what I mean? So it's way more to business than just investing money. But you definitely want to start there. And so I encourage you guys that when the stimulus thing comes through, that you use your money to invest in your business. Whatever your business is, use the money to invest in the business, but just know that you have to have balance. Looking for a quick solution without putting in the work. And I get that a whole lot. Like people literally are like, okay, so how do I get... And, and we were talking about this. Me and one of my um, team members were talking about this. They were like, um, people. a lot of people come to me like, the first question is, how can I get more views on my videos when I go live? First of all, before you eat, the, like, don't put the, um, what they say, don't put the cart before the horse. Like, what are you doing? Like, when before the viewers come, what's your inventory looking like? Before the viewers come, what's your social media looking like? Before the viewers come, how many, how much time are you putting in there? Before the viewers come, how much are you, um, like, what, what do your shipping supplies look like? You know, before the viewers, before the viewers come, how do you feel about your business? Do you love your product? Or is it evident that you love your product? So investing is way more than just throwing some money at a situation. And it's more than just, oh, I put in a little time. Like, do y'all, y'all know that people that start businesses literally, I know um, it, a lot of times in the beginning, it's like more than a nine to five job, but guess what? It's supposed to get better and you're supposed to grow and you should be able to have people, you know, bring people on into your business, which is what, you know, I'm looking to do too. Because as you grow, you get better and better and you will need like a team, but you gotta, you, you can't skip the process. And one thing I learned, then this is not just investing. It's just, you know me, once I think about something, I'll just go into it. But one thing that I learned, someone told me a long time ago, because I knew that I would have, you know, businesses that would, you know, be great because I just, you know, God told me, like, I just knew that I would have stuff. Right. And so my, um, but at that time I'm like, you know, I was laid off and I'm like, yo, what's going on? And I, one of my pastors told me that too. They were like, you need to just relax. You just need to rest in him. You just need to trust God. You just need to believe God. You just need to like calm down. But I'm like, but it's supposed to be like this. And why isn't it like this? And da, da, da. it's like, you're right here and you want to be like way over there, but you can't take, you can't cut no corners. You understand what I'm saying? Like you got to go through the process, right? You got to trust the process. And one of my friends literally told me, she was like, you know that what keeps coming to mind for you is enjoy the journey. And I literally had to take that, take that to heart and really enjoy the journey. What's up, CJ? I had to enjoy the fact that, you know, that I'm, I'm blessed with the business, number one, first and foremost. I had to um, understand that it is more than just a business and that through this business, God will allow me to be a blessing to other people. And what's up, Deirdre? And once you understand that and once you begin to you know, calm down a little bit and not just look at it as a money thing, but look at it as a whole and overall thing and begin to focus on the things that matter right now. Like when I started, okay, the fact of building inventory, the fact of, you know, investing my time to develop a system, um, investing in different things that will make stuff look better, like invest in my lighting. What's up, Fawn? Invest in my lighting. Um, invest in my equipment, right? Make sure that I have a, a computer that works or make sure that I have the latest cell phone so I can take nice selfies for the images of, um, of me wearing my product, right? It's more than just, oh, well, throw some money at it. No, you got to invest time too. What's up, Vanessa? So I just wanted to, um, I don't know. I was just thinking about that earlier. And I just did my makeup too. And I was like, well, I ain't going to waste a makeup look. And I got work to do. So they might as well just come with me and help me. Help me get some work done, right? Help me get some work done and then talk to me. But um, but yeah, it's it's all a part of it. And I think that, um, let me see what this is. Hold on a second. Oh, ah, uh, sorry, y'all. I'm working. So I'm, I'm going to put this on YouTube too. But this is the thing. I think that we get so focused on where we want to be and what we want this business to be or any business to be that we forget to enjoy the process. It's almost like, you know, when your kids are little, you're like, oh my goodness, I can't wait till you like two. Oh my goodness, I can't wait till you like 10. Oh my goodness, I can't wait till you in high school. Then they about to get married and you're like, yo, wait a minute. What about the 10th year and 11th year? And oh, can you go back to this age or that age? It's like, 
you got to enjoy the process. Even when we're growing up and we're like, well, I just want to wear lipstick and I want to wear this and I want to go to prom and I want to do this. I would not let my kids grow up too fast. When it came to makeup, I let them do it in stages. Like, okay, now you could do lip gloss. Okay, now you could do this. Like there were stages that had to come before they got to prom, right? Because if I let you do everything right now and you have it all right now, you're not going to even enjoy this whole time up until your prom. When you get to prom, you're just going to be like, okay. So the same thing with business and stuff. It's like, enjoy your process, right? Because here's the thing too that people don't understand. When you literally invest in something, I was supposed to charge my phone up. I didn't even put the thing in there. When you invest in yourself and you invest in your business, it is extremely rewarding. Hold on. It is extremely rewarding when you start seeing the fruits of your labor, right? It's when all of it begins to make sense. So don't rob yourself of the process. Like it's even different things that I look back at like, dang, why did we like while I was going through it? I'm like, why do we have to go through this and da, 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 right? But then now it's like, I understand what's up, everybody. It's like now I understand why I had to go through that because I'm here and I can help people that are in that area get from there to there. So don't like try to rush it. Like I, I just, I'm ready to be like a, a millionaire and do this and that. It's coming right for you. Like you can definitely be successful, but don't, don't cheat yourself of the process. Wait, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh oh, it's more than 10. Wait. Oh, I must have more of these. So anyway, that's one thing that I wanted to get on here and talk about. I wanted to tell you guys to make sure that you are investing. Make sure like when you get that money, that stimulus that they talking about, don't just like you want to have something that you can show for. Sure, you can go buy a bunch of Christmas gifts and stuff like that. But why not give yourself the gift that keep on giving? I don't care if, if it ain't paparazzi. If it is paparazzi, that's all great. You can always join me. But my thing is, if you if it's a, even if it's buying a book, y'all, one thing I'm learning too, I have been reading quite a few books that are that are investments. Some books, you know, $50, $100, something like that. But the thing is, it's an investment in me. And once I get wealth of knowledge and information and I learn certain things, I can better myself. And that's something that no one can take away from me. Just like a business, right? It's like your nine to five or your employer can't take that from you. So why would you not? I was talking to somebody the other day, like, why would you not want to invest in your business? And people are like, well, I'm just so busy and I have this and I got to do work and I got my job. I get that. But the thing is, if you're always spinning your wheels and just doing a nine to five and going to work for somebody else, you're going to make them riches all get out. But you're not, it's only so much money you can make at that job. It's only so much money you can make. So you want to like put yourself in a position to where you have something that you can pass on to generations where you can expose your generations to come to different things. And so that's what my goal is, right? Even through the businesses that I have, I want to show my kids that, listen, you can, whatever... Um, now I appreciate the message you just sent me. I checked it, but you just want to show them that people say the sky's the limit. No, there's so much you can do. There's so much that you can, there, there's so much that you can accomplish. Just focus and invest in yourself, invest in yourself by investing in your business, investing yourself by getting books, reading books that help you do better. Um, books that, that help you, um, spiritually, emotionally, right. Um, mentally books that help your, your intellect that make you smarter business savvy books. Like what books do millionaires read? What are they doing? You understand what I'm saying? Like put yourself around people that are doing something. Like I literally watched that movie about Steve jobs because I was like, that dude, man, Amazing. I'm like, I want to know more. Like what was going on in his head? What what made him do the things that he did? Like what were the, the, the key factors? What were the tips? What were like repeat patterns that he did? Um, Vanessa said, when I was younger, my dad used to say, if you do everything now, what are you going to do later? It truly is a process for everything. Go through the process and learn. And that's the truth about it. This is the other thing too. So even in business, let's say um, you get to a point like you're handed um, this, you know, your business just takes off. No, I'm gonna put it to you like this. Here's one thing. 
I used to work at a party rental place, right? I worked at a party rental place and they were doing very, very well for themselves. And what they did was they, um, they got really big and they started, you know, because they were doing so well and they had grown so much, they started buying up all these companies, but they did it so fast because they wanted to be a real big, super de duper huge company. And the one thing that was wrong with that was don't go so fast to where you can't take it in steps to where you can handle it, right? So the same thing with your business, build it up, learn things about it. Um, don't go so fast to where you grow so fast, you can't even manage it. You can't even maintain it. What's up, Yaskaya? So you got to take your time, enjoy the process, enjoy the journey, take it step by step. Don't take off more that you can chew because it, it, it can be overwhelming and it'll end up being too much. And what they did was they grew way too fast. The, all the teams that they had couldn't even handle it and they almost went underwater. So I'm saying that to say, take it step by step and take your time. That's why I see a lot of people, they'll do this business and then they want to start this business. And then six months later, they're doing this. And six months later, they're doing that. And then people want to come to me and be like, hey, I, I tried like 15 different things. I did this business. I did that business. Thinking that because you attach to someone or because it's a certain business that's booming that you're going to do well in it just because you know, you're know you taking on that business and other people are doing well. No, it's a process. Like You have to put in the time for that. And if you do things too quick and just moving all over the place, you never really get established in one area and learn that thing and, and perfect that thing and grow. There's nothing wrong with having multiple businesses. I have more than one business. There's nothing wrong with having multiple businesses, but you want to do it at a pace that you can handle. You don't want to just, oh, I'm going to do this and I'm going to do this. And oh, I got lashes now and I got this and I got this, like in one year. It's like, uh, no, get make sure you get one thing established so you can maintain it and then you open up something else, right? You don't see companies opening up all these different things, like even franchises, you see them, they have one thing going and then they're like, okay, well, we're going to open another franchise over here. Okay. Now we're going to, oh, well, we got, we got this on lock over in this location. So now we're going to do something over there. So if you are one that has a lot of stuff going on and you're trying to, um, you know, uh, do more and you haven't even solidified the thing that you're in now, take your time, relax, you know, uh, uh, specialize in what you got going on now and then re then visit something else. But like, don't, don't, um, don't be all over the place. Don't be scatterbrained. Cause if you got so much going on and you can't focus on none of them, it ain't really no good. Like at least get that, get that part, the process streamlined in one business and then move forward. Cause we already know that millionaires have multiple streams of income. So multiple streams of income is not the problem, but it's building up and then branching off and building up and branching off and making sure that you're investing. So Anyway, what is up? What's up, Kia? Um, anybody have any questions? Anybody want to start a topic? I'm just here to talk business for a little bit because I'm going to get off soon. But I just wanted to talk to you guys about investing because that literally just, I don't know, that just triggered something. And I was like, yo, I wonder what people are going to do with the stimulus. They're going to go crazy and spend all that money and get some shoes and, and, and pay a bill or do this and do that. You better make that money work for you. You understand what I'm saying? Like make that money work for you so you can get in a position to pay off debt so you can get in a position to own things, you know? That's what I'm thinking. Like even with my kids, like I literally, this is this is another thing I did with my kids too, teaching them how to handle business, right? Even um a few years ago, or maybe it was a couple of years ago with them, I'm like, all right, let's get y'all a credit card. I didn't make them an authorized user on mine. I'm like, you get a credit card, I will use it, and then I'll pay it off to build up your um to build up your credit so that by the time you are ready to leave or by the time you're ready to get a car or by the time you're ready to get a house, you don't have to like be like, oh gosh, I don't have any credit or, you know, you starting from scratch. Our job is to learn as much as we can and put ourselves in a better position so that we can help others around us and so we can help our children. Right. That's and then people around us, the youth around us, even people around us that are watching us. Right. Even with my team, like if if I wouldn't have um, built up and done this whole process of, of this business, I wouldn't be able to help my team do nothing. But because I have done the process and I am on this journey, I'm able to share information. So just make sure that you are investing properly, like like reevaluate things. Look at look at your situation and see if you're giving time to your business. You hope folks buy a lot of jewelry. Well, but this is the thing. 
But what good is it? This is what we're talking about, Kia. This is the conversation right here. The conversation is making sure that you have balance, not just throwing money everywhere, but even with the money, where's the time? So yeah, you buy a whole lot of jewelry. What's the next step when you get a whole lot of jewelry? What's the next step? You tell me what the next step is. You buy all this jewelry. I got to count these pieces too. I'm trying to go live tomorrow too. 12, 13, 14, 15. Answer that question for me, y'all. Uh-oh. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Wait. Um, not just post that jewelry. What's the what's the next thing? Whatever business you're in. It's it's buy that jewelry, buy that product, buy that inventory, and do what? Yeah, you can post it, but what else do you have to do? As a new consultant, it's good to establish a large... Wait, let me do it over here because I don't want to mess with my camera. Let me see here. Let me see what your question is. But yeah, throw them questions at me because this is a... this is a. I like y'all to talk back to me and I, I'm working and, and this is just making everything easier. It's helping me. It's helping me get through this and what I got to do here. Let me see what you said. I am good. Um, I don't see. Regina Padilla said, sell it. Absolutely. But I missed a comment. Where did it go? Somebody said, um, is it good to do something? I missed it. Hold on. Um, what's up? Uh, let's see. You just invested in a printer. Hold on. As a new consultant, is it good to establish a large inventory if you're not selling as fast as you get it? Um, that means you need to up your selling. What's the point in having all that jewelry? We do want to build a store, but the thing is you want to, as much as you can flip that jewelry and make money. Like you, we're not in the business of storing jewelry. Although I do have some, right? Because I do have a store The my purpose wasn't just to see how large of an inventory I can have. No, my purpose is to have it so that I can sell it. You made your son an authorized user on your credit cards at 16 years old. You never gave him the card. When he turned 20, his credit was 825. Boop. That's what I'm talking about. Now, because I think he couldn't have a credit at um, a credit card at 16 years old. So that's good to do authorized user. My kids were older than 18. So I told them to get their own. You just invested in a printer. It was a bit pricey, but it's such a huge time saver from using my computer. So worth it. A printer is definitely a must. I actually have a Dymo printer and I, I mean a Dymo printer and I have a Rolo. I use the Dymo for printing my labels for um, comments sold because, you know, so I can label my stuff and I can actually uh, categorize it, organize it properly. So I use a Dymo for that. I use my Rolo to print shipping labels. What's up, Ebony? I feel like I'm not getting all the um, comments on, on my iPad. Yo, what's up with that? You have to sell it, market it, and advertise it. Absolutely. Um, I can print from my phone or just my laptop. That's bomb. If you purchase jewelry, you need to sell the jewelry. You need to show up and invest in your business. Yeah, so that's why we're talking about investing. Investing, a lot of people think, well, I buy jewelry. I'm buying this jewelry, and I'm doing this, and I'm doing that. I'm doing. Okay, but are you consistent? Are you showing up? Are you, do, are you, do, do people know that you buying all that jewelry or are you just buying all that jewelry and are you keeping it like, you know, you ain't really putting it out there and not that you're doing it intentionally, but you got to go live. You got to get a store. So many people don't want to get a daggone Shopify store. And I really don't understand that. This is the, don't y'all know that this is the selling age. This is the internet age. Are you kidding me? You better get you a, a, a website, get you a website. That's what people are doing. People can't really go anywhere right now. So what you think they're doing? They online shopping. I know I do. So invest the money and invest the time. Yes, sell it. Not the winners, the non-winners. <laughs> Find various ways to sell. Yes, you have to sell it, market it, advertise it. Yeah, that's your question. What's the next step? What do you mean, Sonia? You like I tell y'all all the time, y'all got to be a little more, a bit more descriptive when you're commenting because sometimes I see stuff way late. So um, I don't know what you were saying. You're just You're just curious what I'm doing. You're counting your new inventory and then are marketing. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not doing a spreadsheet. No way. I don't have a flow of when I purchase inventory and when it comes in. What's your flow? Um, well, I have a website. I'm not about to get into my flow because that would take way too much. And plus, I don't I don't do videos like that. I may do something like that for my team, but I don't just do step by step like on a broad platform like that. But I'm actually printing labels with the names on it and putting it in a bag. But I use comments sold, so I'm printing, the labels are actually, um, 
the uh everything is already in the system so i'm just printing it out because i used to write it on there and i'm not writing it like that's just my depending on if i'm in a hurry or not the writing is is legible or um it's not so we're gonna make it legible with these printers and if i want to use my scanner to scan it into the system when i'm live i can so that's why i use this printer um what else are your printers thermal printers they are definitely thermal printers and i love thermal printers because um you don't have to buy ink anymore. I used to spend so much money on buying ink, like for my printer, my desktop printer, which I still have because I print out, um, you know, you have a business, you use your printer. But I, um, I, um, I use these, the Rolo printers because I don't have to buy ink for them. And that's, a, that's, that's amazing. All you gotta do is buy labels. Um, are your printers thermal? Do I have to be on for two hours? Do you have to be on what for two hours alive? You do what you want to do. You got to do what works for you. I like doing marathons because for me, Fridays work for me and I don't do a whole bunch of different, you know, days. So for me, I had to do that for me. And this is what a lot of people, they're like, well, how did you do this on Instagram? How did you do this? And how did you do that? I simper, simply operated on a time that I could operate on. I didn't, I wasn't like, honestly, I wasn't like calculating every step of that process. I just showed up when I could. And I told them, if y'all want me to show on both platforms, Instagram, Facebook, then we're going to have to do marathons because I'm only doing one day a week. And so that's why I do marathons. But marathons may not be your shish. <laughs> um, where do you get the printer from? You, girl, see, that's what I'm saying. The questions about Google, I mean, the questions that some people ask, and don't be offended because this is just, I keep it all the way real. I'm all the way transparent and I love y'all. But so this is this is an example of what I mean by searching stuff out. So, because I'll be saying like to be a business owner, you have to get out of the, I know, and I was talking to someone the other day about employee versus business owner mindset. So employee mindset tells us that, okay, tell me what to do. What do you want next? Okay, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. Okay, now what? Okay, so well, then I won't move until you tell, okay, what? Right? Mm-mm. Business owner mindset is, oh my gosh, she said thermal printer. Oh my gosh, she said Rolo. Oh my gosh, she said Dymo. Let me go Google, right? So where you get it from, I will answer your question, but I just want to let you know that that's the things that I'm talking about. When people come in my inbox asking me stuff that's Googleable, like that's totally Googleable, but Amazon is where I got mine from. Um, but not to be, I'm not like, I love y'all. I promise I do. And it's not to be mean. I'm just, I'm trying to help y'all. And if I, if I don't tell you the truth, I can't help you. The truth, the truth will, um, help you. Okay. You might not like it in, at first, but then it'll help you later. So yeah. Um, ink is very expensive. It is. Yes. And then can you do a training on your system for the lives? I'm definitely not doing that. Um, trainings like that. I, I do on my team page. If I go that in detail. But um yeah, I don't I'm not I probably won't do one like that. Um what else? What else? Got to keep it real. Um is there a program you use to keep track of your inventory? I have a website. I have a Shopify website. So that's what I use. Um I also Comment Sold does it too, but I had Shopify before I had Comment Sold. Um I just answered your question, um Jada. Um Amazon Staples obviously Babe, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing, honey? Like, you supposed... <laughs> Hi, honey. Yes. The, and anyway, let me tell you this. He is the mastermind behind all of our systems. Um, he keeps the website up to date. Like, he... <laughs> That's my husband, K. Dre Key. I cannot do it. Do I have advice on upselling jewelry? Um, yeah, Googleable. No, upselling jewelry. I do situations. I don't know if you've ever watched my live, but I do situations because I like a lot of times people need help with like accessorizing, right? And I'm gonna lie, there was a time where um, and you know this started off as like it's investing, but I told y'all we could go wherever you want to take it as long as I got a little time. But um um, what was I saying? But there was a time where I wasn't as fashionable as I am, right? And I needed a little bit of um of help or expertise to help me go in that area. Once I begin to learn it, then shoot, when it comes to jewelry and all that other stuff, it's like, hey, let me match this with this, let me pair this with this. And that's how you upsell. You literally just match it. Like I had this bracelet on um earlier, but 
I took it off because I don't need that on while I'm working. And then do these earrings. And if you want, you can get a little necklace to go with it. That's how you do it. You put stuff together and wear it too. Because you want to make sure that you're wearing it as well. He is funny. I'm like, where he come from? You Yes, yes. So on my lives, I do a bunch of situations. Let me, so I'm looking for some more questions too. Let me count these. And I'm a t I will tell y'all while I'm counting though. I'll tell y'all that. Am I too much for y'all though? I'm all the way real. I told you I was working. So I'm I'm basically counting them, making sure that I have the quantity that I'm supposed to have um, that is, is reflecting on my website. Because when I go live and I use my system, I cannot like be talking about I got like 30 of these and then somebody then 20 people buy it and I only have I mean, then 30 people want to buy it and I only had 20 in actuality. So I'm just making sure that I have the amount that I'm supposed to have. My niece is in the building. What's up, niece? Um, you need to learn to accessorize. Yes. And I'm going to tell you this. Um, I just got to keep it real. That's, that's all I know how to do, y'all. And so also learning to accessorize, right? That's a part of investing. Ding, ding. I need my little horn, man. My film, 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 film. I need that because that was a that was a film, 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 filmable time. <laughs> anyway, that was film, film, filmable. No, but learning to accessorize. That's another way to invest in your business, right? Watching videos that where people um, accessorize, watching or not even videos. You don't even have to watch videos. You can literally go to Pinterest, right? Um, sometimes when I want to know about a color to match with, um, like, say I'm going to wear like a blue color, right? And I'm like, dang, what colors will go with blue? Because I'm all like, I can't think of it right now. I will literally put in colors that go with blue. Or let's say if I want to wear black and white, but I don't want to wear a pop of like a uh, red or blue because I've done that already. I'll look up black and white, pop a color. And then, excuse me, it'll show me yellow. It'll show me all these different colors. And that's another way to accessorize. You can also look at the color wheel, right? The color wheel has your complementary colors. And you see, you know, you, you just see everything on the color wheel. It shows what complements what. It shows what's close to what. And you know what I'm saying? You can use your color wheel. You can use um, Google. You can use Pinterest. You can use all these things. You can look at posts that people make, social media. Um, follow, like, fashion bloggers or follow, like, people that are artistic, right? Usually people that do art and create um, different things, they know how to blend colors together. So uh, that's how I match a lot of my colors. I'm like, yo, like, like this right here, green and cream, like that goes, right? You wouldn't really think, okay, green and cream, but it works. So let me see what else. Uh, doo -doo -doo, thank you for answering the questions. You're just listening for my research. Get it, girl. No, ma'am, I like real. Okay, and I and I really do love y'all. I do. So I'm just answering it and keeping it all the way real, just like I would tell anybody else. Um, great evening. What's up, Rena? What's up, Michelle? Hey, my whole auntie. Hey, my whole niece. Nah, you're straightforward. This is refreshing. Cause this is the thing. Don't tell me. Like, I need I need people to tell me the truth because the truth is what's gonna help me. Right. Because I could we could give all these little bitty answers, but we got to show people how to search stuff and, and um, find stuff for themselves themselves as well. Right. In their own business, because you can't always just call somebody up. You know what I mean? So what else? What other questions do you have? Yeah. Color wheel. Use the color wheel. Use Pinterest. I ain't gonna lie, I Google stuff so I can figure out stuff, different colors. Like if I want to know what goes with brass, I'll Google it and I'll find out because sometimes I just might run out of ideas. It helps people. Okay, Daimo, why you be doing me this way? And then you're going to do it on camera. Um, it helps people to know how they can incorporate jewelry with these outfits. Absolutely. And this is the other thing too, is that when you can incorporate different, um, dip, like you can use the same outfit and put different jewelry and it gives it a whole different vibe. You could do the same outfit, do different makeup and it gives it the whole vibe. You could do the same outfit, do different shoes and it gives it a whole different vibe. So uh, you can do, you can add a hat and it gives it a whole different vibe. So it's just it, not being afraid to incorporate stuff, right? Um, so let me say, what would you say is a good amount of inventory? What's a good incoming to outgoing ratio? I know we're building inventory. 
I honestly don't have a ratio for you um, because I really don't get that deep as far as counting inventory. My focus is not so much on the amount that I'm going to buy. My main focus is on having enough to supply my audience, right? It's watching my customers' buying habits. It's um, watching the things that they like. If it's something that they really don't like, I'm not going to just buy a bunch of inventory just to say I got it. I might get one or two of that item, but I'm more so focusing on the items that through research and through study and through observation, um, people like. And it's not so much of I need to have this many. It's more so... I need to flip it. I'm not trying to have it stay. You understand what I'm saying? So I'm everything must go is my motto. Does it all go at one time? No, but it's great to have it to know that I can supply um, my customers. And even if they were to send me new customers, I can meet their needs too. Um, green and cream rhyme too. Hey, y'all know I got bars. Hey, um, how do you scan your jewelry? Um, I don't usually scan. I usually put it in um, manually with my fingers while I'm on my live, but I can. I have a scanner. It's just like at the grocery store when they scan stuff or at Target um, when they scan stuff. It's the same difference. Um, and I got that one from Amazon too, but I don't use it that much. So I just, I type it in. This is more so when we're filing and making sure that all the names are on there because I don't trust my own writing because sometimes my family be wanting to be shady and since hubby is watching, he'd be like, what, what you put on that? Do you say, oh, that's what that's supposed to be? Don't judge me. So I just figure out, print them out and put it on there. It's easier. Can you tell me if you're using a certain site to print labels while using a Rolo printer? I'm not using a Rolo printer to print labels. I'm using my Dymo. And yes, it's comment sewed. You got to coordinate. Yeah. Angela McCoy, you got to coordinate, girl. Uh-oh, girl, I almost threw this. No, -uh, that's a cute one, too. Look at that cutie. Look at that cutie pie. I almost threw that away. Let me see what else. Let me see what else y'all want to know. What do you want to know? What do you want to know? What else do y'all want to know about? Um. Oh, so hubby said that he also enters the, um, the jewelry manually. Now with paparazzi, there is a way that you can import it, but he does it manually. So me and my husband have a system when, um, when we place an order, he enters it manually. And then I kind of take on preparing for the lives and making sure we receive stuff, making sure the quantity is right. Um, and then, and then, um, yeah, so we kind of work together with that blessing, blessing, Babe, are you on a treadmill or something? Because how are you How are you communicating with me? I'm just wondering. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. And so I'm just doing this so that we can keep everything tick and tie. Plus, I get online orders. So when I get boxes in, I open up the boxes and I order them and fulfill them as we get items so that I'm not overwhelmed. Let me see. What else are y'all saying? If you purchase... Okay. Oh, oh, I think it's catching up now. Do you have anything else to ask me? Because I'm here while I'm working and we're talking. I'm going to probably put this on my YouTube channel too because I think that these little candid conversations are pretty, pretty great. I love it. I love it because I could just like let my hair down and do what I do. I'm excited about her. Ah! Okay, anyway. But yeah, any other any other questions, you guys? Don't skip. Just make sure that you're investing on all parts. So got, you guys comment and tell me what are some good ways to invest? What are some good ways to invest in your business? We already talked about investing money. We already talked about, and you know, you might want to put yourself on a budget. If you got to put yourself on a budget in the very beginning, you got to do what you got to do. Everyone has to start. Yeah. When am I going to drop that album? Right? Because I, I, lo I love to sing and everything I do. Sometimes people literally come for me. And be like, you got to sing everything. Matter of fact, I do. That's the way I was made, baby. Asking me to not sing is asking me to change who I is and who I be. Do you open and check each piece? So when we are shipping, we do our best to try to check, you know, all the pieces. But at the level that I get, um, 
sometimes we get like a hundred of things. Sometimes you're not always able to check them. But I do my best and we do try to look at the items as we are shipping them. But yeah, sometimes if it's a whole lot, you can't open up every single item. But we do our best to, you know, try to inspect and make sure you guys are getting some good stuff. And in the event that there's an error or something is broken or something happens during transit or whatever, I do um, have a return policy or a replacement policy, I should say, um, with my customers. So that's what we do too. And that's also why we need um, a staff, literally. Invest time. Yes, yes, yes. Let me see. Sell 16 and buy, and buy 25. That's how I learned to invest. And I, I so I'm going to tell you something though, Deborah. I don't know if you could just always do that, right? Because what if, what if you get to the point where you need to buy 50? Then what are you going to do? Are you just going to say, nope, I, I buy 25 and I sell 16 or you know what I'm saying? Like, how are you going to, I don't know if I would necessarily go by that. I just literally kind of watch the things that sell and the things that my customers like. And certain items, I just know, okay, I'm going to need to get 50. I'm going to try to get 100 of those if I can. Um, certain items, I'm like, well, I'm going to get like maybe 10 and I'm going to see how they how they vibing off of it. And if they really like it, when the next color comes out, I'm going to get more. Like I, you have to play it by ear. You definitely have to pay attention. And that is part of... That's part of investing in your business too because you have to invest time to make sure that um, you are buying products that you should be buying. And there's sometimes where I invest and I'm like, yo, like I shouldn't have got that many. And then I learn, you know, you got to learn. You got to you gotta study your business. That's a part of investing too. Um, yes, that's about to be my question about budgeting. Um, what did, what did I last week's live? Was it, huh? So Nancy, I don't know what, like that's, you have to comment on my live. This is, um, this is something a little, something different. What are some ways your spouse helps you? Honey, do you want to chime in on that? He's very helpful, but it's like we're, um, co-business owners, but since he's chiming in, maybe he wants to kind of respond to that. And if not, I'll, I'll kind of speak on that. Let me see the next one. Um, let me get up and go downstairs and go in my jewelry room and make magic. Boom. Go make some magic, girl. The SKU number that you use in your store in paparazzi, I don't go by SKU numbers. I don't use SKU numbers. I just go by the name of the product. Um, but there is a number that uh, comment sold generates, but I don't I do not do that personally. Let me see. She like, she over there working. Let me go get some work done. I invest in myself. In order for me to remain focused on my business, my mind so needs to be good. That's true. That is definitely another part of it as well. Like, this is what I tell people too. If you plan on starting a business, you better have, make sure your confidence level is 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 constantly growing. Um, Miss Jallo, I, listen, she sent me a message. Um, you have to make sure that your confidence level, like you cannot wear your emotions on your sleeve in business, okay? You have to make sure that you have your big girl and big guy, well, I don't want to say big guy panties, but you want to make sure you have your big girl panties on because it's business, it's not personal. You cannot wear your emotions on your sleeve and you have to be confident. You have to be confident in the product that you're selling and you have to be product in your, I mean product, you have to be product in yourself? No, you have to be confident in yourself because here's the thing. I remember um, I was going to do Amway, I think it was. And then, um, like, I love Gain, okay? This is not sponsored, but I absolutely love Gain detergent. Can I get a witness? <laughs> My daughter just came here. But I love Gain detergent, right? So in order for me to do Amway, I, like... I would have had to, not saying I would have had to use everything they offer, but one of their great products was like a detergent, I think it was. And I just could not wholeheartedly sell that and really be confident. You need me? Oh, okay. Um, so I couldn't wholeheartedly be confident in all their stuff. Like they had cleaning supplies. They had this, they had that. Well, um, I like Gain and um, I like Windex and um, I like Palmolive. All right. So I just like those things. So for me to be totally confident in Amway, 
I couldn't do it and give it my all because my heart wasn't all there. So you got to make sure that you're confident in whatever it is you're doing. If you're really not confident in the business that you're in, you really don't like the products, you really don't wear it, you really don't do this, you don't do that, maybe it's not the right thing for you unless you can find a way to do it and not necessarily do it yourself. Like maybe you have relatives or whatever that, that love jewelry, right? Like it's better when it's something that you love. Um, let me see. Um, get people on your team. So I, I feel some kind of way about the, the team thing. Yes, that is important when you're in network marketing because network marketing is about a network. So it is, but I think sometimes in network marketing, people focus too much on the network and they're not doing the work. <laughs> okay, if that makes sense. Like you're focused, not you personally, but people are so focused on a team and team building, but you have to work on your net worth and on your work. You have to do that for yourself because if I, like, say I get this massive, massive team, what in the world am I gonna teach them if I'm not working my business? How am I gonna be able to train them? So you gotta make sure that you have like a solid foundation or you're working on it or you know someone to go to in your network, your upline that can assist you in building as you, you know, in training as you build. So I'm just saying. That's all. Like get people on your team, that's important, but that's that your business is equally as important. Um, now you make me want to go back on live and start over. <laughs> start over, why? Right, loving the product is a plus. Like, let's listen. I do this because I love what I do. I love the way people feel when they get the when they get stuff on them. Hold on, because I am somebody um Okay, because I, I'm expecting someone. Um, but yeah, so I love what I do and I feel like loving what you do is a huge part of, um, of doing what you do and doing it at giving it, giving it your best and being your best, right? Because if you don't really like it, you're not going to really give it your all. You're not going to really care much about it. You're not going to even want to invest. And this is actually, these are here because I got um, more boxes and I have to fulfill orders. That's right, work is key. Now there will come there will come a point where maybe, you know, as you grow and as you get a staff, you can concentrate on higher level work, right? Upper level work and you don't necessarily have to ship stuff out yourself if you don't want to. But um every business, it like come on, the owner of Amazon, he was in the corner working that business. Now I'm pretty sure he don't have to be at no desk. He's working on like he's working on forecasting. He's working on budgeting. He's working on on daggone building Amazon stores that I heard is about to be out here. You know, building Amazon stores so we can go shop. He's working on stuff that can continue to grow the business, right? But he had to start somewhere. You don't just get way up there starting off. Let me see. Well, what'd you say? OMG, I've watched four of your videos today alone. Ah! Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. Getting a better understanding and getting hype watching me. I love that. I love that. Great customer service is definitely needful. Next month, I'm going to invest in my printer and labels and your Chromebook. Awesome. And do it. You know what? Do it in steps. Do it in stages. Don't try to do it all at once. If you try to do it all at once, you're going to be overwhelmed. We didn't start off with the Rolo and with the Dymo printer. We didn't do that, okay? We started off with like... um. I literally did, we had a um, HP printer. It wasn't this one, but we had another one. And we literally used to print it on paper. We would cut the label out and we would tape it. That is how we started. Then we grew to buying labels, the half sheet labels. And then after the half sheet labels, we were like, yo, flipping it back and forth and making it print right and all that. We need to do something different. And I didn't really want to, but hubby pushed us to get the thermal. And that's the best decision. I have not bought ink ever since October of 2019. And the thing still works. I just buy paper. What about taxes? Taxes, I'm not going to even, that's not my area. So I'm not going to even touch on that. So we're not going to touch on that, baby. Don't start over. Just go. Do it. Um, Sometimes you do need to like re, you know, revamp and, and kind of like start your first works over and refresh. So sometimes you do. It depends on where you are. But definitely... Um, pick up where you are and keep pushing and look at areas that need to do need improvement because you may need to go to step one and revise it. He want Walmart. Wait, what you say, Iskaya? He want Walmart. Oh, yeah. 
right? Um, the Am the owner of Amazon, I can't remember his name, but yeah, he he's like, uh-uh, we about to squash you, Walmart. No, I'm just kidding. No, but seriously, like he's doing, he literally wants Amazon to be like like Walmart too, like as if Amazon ain't enough. But he a hey, he didn't he didn't maximize where he was, so he's trying to keep growing. I know Amazon put a whole lot of people out of business. I'm gonna tell you that. Um, you used to do Amway in Pensacola. I'm at the half sheet label price. And guess what? Every step that you're at, appreciate your journey. Because I was there too. What is up, Sister Kim? I call her my church mom. Hi. We're just talking business here. You know. You know. Let me count these guys. I love your questions. Um, I'm going to have someone is coming in a minute. So as long as I can stay on, I will while I'm working. As long as y'all help me work, okay? I can't... <laughs> I can't do too much. Somebody said they love Shopify. Um, let me count these. <laughs> Talk to me. Did I put tape on this one? I didn't. What did I do with that? Oh, see, I told y'all as long as I'm working and y'all helping me. I don't even know if I printed that out. I thought I did, but what did I do with them? Oh, Lord have mercy. Help me. Help me on today. Um, I love Amazon too, and Prime gets you right all the time. Oh, thank you so much. I can't help but to be honest, right? Because I got to sleep with myself at night. I am doing good. You are welcome. Any other questions? You guys are um, helping my job. You're helping make it easier on me. What are, let's see, what are some good points about Shopify? Girl, I, everything. I can't even, I, listen, everything. I love it. But compared to what? What like what are you asking me? Like why is it good to have it or is it better than something? Like like what what give me a little bit more with your question. Cause like I we could Google that and be like, why should we get Shopify? So like ask me a more um a more uh a more meaty question, if you will. And let me see. When is a good when is a good time to start a start a Shopify? I'ma be honest with you. Like I feel like in the first couple months. If you can, like, and you should, if you can, you should, and look at it as an investment. Don't look at it as money going out of your pocket. I, I see a lot of people have that consumer mindset and they look at it as, oh my God, I got to spend $29 um, a month on Shopify. And I look like it like, oh my God, you're spending $29 a month. That's going to enable you to make hundreds. I love somebody. It's all in your perspective. It's how you look at it. To me, Shopify gives me access to, you know, it basically gives me a website, which gives me access to more customers that would not necessarily shop my live. Let's just be all the way real. Everybody's not coming on to sit three, four hours with me on, on a live. There are people that shop my website that never, ever, ever come on a live. So that's just real talk. You understand what I'm saying? So, I mean, why would you not want to invest in yourself on that level? And then two, I always ask people, how far you want to go? Do you just want to make like a car note or are you trying to change your whole zip code? Like, what do you want to do? What do you want to do in the business? In any business that you're in? Um, you are welcome. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. see. Um, when is it? Yeah. So whenever you can, like, you know, get, when you get a couple of hundred, cause my thing is this, if you know that you're going to go to Shopify at some point, like why are you going to wait till you get like hundreds and hundreds of pieces? And then you got to enter all those pieces in. If you can start in the beginning and let's say the first couple months, why wouldn't you get that done now? Cause I remember when I had to do that transition and I, and I got a website, I started with square first, but I remember when I did, um, when I got that website, I was just like, um, I had to spend a whole day trying to enter stuff. But if I would have started it from the beginning, it would have been a little easier on me because then I could do it daily as I order, right? So it's just about what your what your priorities are and what your budget is. Um, you are drinking my favorite drink. Girl, I love me some coffee. I love it. Me and coffee, inseparable. Um, you kept saying right there, what? Oh, you were saying this right there, girl, look. When do you recommend starting an online store? I just answered that question. How do you stay organized? Um, I do my best. <laughs> I do my best I can. Um, I receive stuff in 
and make sure that I count stuff, make sure that things are stored um, together. Um, but I'm not completely happy with the way that my organizing is now, uh, partially because, well, mainly because um, where we need a bigger space so that, or even an office space or something so that I can spread out because we've grown so much. So them earrings on me are everything. <laughs> Thank you, girl. <laughs> um, let me see. What you, is it user friendly? Is what user friendly? Shopify? Um, it depends. Like, see, that's 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 a question I can't really answer because it totally depends on your um it depends what was that? It depends on your um your level of understanding when it comes to technology and you know what I'm saying? If you're good at Facebook, if you're good at Instagram and you're good at kind of understanding things, um, it, it'll probably be easy for you, but I'm not going to say it's easy for everybody because some people it's a struggle. So it, it, it varies, you know, uh, you make that back with someone, right? You make $29 in a whole per in a single purchase, man. People hung up on the wrong things, yo. Ah, oh, Candace, I, I always talk about this. People are talking about getting more viewers to their live. I'm going I'm to I'm ask that you go to the beginning of this live and replay it because I address that because uh -uh, I don't even want to talk about that because I'm going to go on a tangent about that because I have my feelings about people always wanting people to see their live. I talked about that in the very beginning. Um, Shopify is where it's at. If anyone is, if anyone, if anyone is one, Oh, it's on the fence about getting a website. What you said? Wait, Fawn, what else did you say? Because um, Fawn started her website right off. She's my business partner. She started her website right away. I was like, get it, girl, but I don't push nobody. I don't. Um, I'm trying to change my zip code. Booyah. Don't say trying. You are going to. Enter the pieces as you purchase from the, the beat. That, and that's what I'm saying. Like, if you start that way, I'm going to need to pull this up there like if you can that's what i recommend like why not right um let me see do you think it's worth doing shopify if we just have one of many pieces i think that why or why do you have just one of many pieces like why are you not buying more than one i think that if you want to have a business and you want to make um you want to bring in customers like you got to get more than one piece we shouldn't start a business and just be thinking about adding one piece of jewelry. So in the beginning, I mean, if that's all you have is one and one and one, I'm not wasting my time putting one, 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 one in the system. So no, because I have a lot of pieces that were one when I first started, um, you know, having a website. And I was like, yeah, she's not going to get in. We're just going to sell her random like a one and done type thing. So, um, ooh. So, yeah, I wouldn't spend my time doing a whole bunch of ones, but I will work more so on getting more than one. Right? That's what I would say. Um, Love that. Change your zip code. I'm just saying. What made you change from Square to Shopify? I want to make the choice for my online store. Yeah, I don't even need to go into detail. I'm just going to tell you that it's definitely better. Shop, si shop site. Shop site? No. Shopify is like no other. Um, I don't know what Square is doing now because they probably are um, doing things so that they can compete. So I'm not going to even lie and say that I know what they're doing because I don't, once I left them, I didn't keep up with them, right? Because I don't have time to do that. I got to research stuff that I need to work for me, not where I've where I been, like it's done moving on. But um, first of all, they cropped the pictures when I was there. And you know, when you're in paparazzi, you can't have no crop picture. You can't crop that picture. So that number one, and then just, it's just more e-commerce friendly and I'm just here for it. I don't know what Square is doing now, but there's so many more advantages to having Shopify than Square. So that um, actually some team members started Shopify and told me that I needed it in my life. And it took me a minute to get over because I was like, uh-uh, that transition, getting all my stuff over, no. And then finally we had to crack down and do it because it made more sense. You know, you can't always stay in a comfortable space. If you're trying to, if, if you plan to grow, comfort zone is not it. Like you, you, you have to, there's going to be so many levels where you have to get out of your comfort zone. I'm still doing that. There's levels where you have to do it. Um, so you, like, that wasn't a fun thing to do. Wasn't looking forward to doing it. But hello, hello, uncomfortable and goodbye comfort zone. In certain levels, you have to if you're going to grow. Um, What is the best website to start on? I will recommend Shopify, but all I know is Shopify and Square. I am not a super techie person. So um, I'm meaning I don't study all these different websites. So I only know two. And out of the two, I go Shopify. Do I organize by colors or numbers? 
neither. Um, I we alphabetize, um, but I'm looking to change that soon. But we actually al alphabetize like A through C, D through F, like that, so that when people do online orders, we know exactly what to go to. So yeah, I don't do by type. I don't do by color. If anyone is on the fence, oh, fine, had to redo it. If anyone is on the fence about getting a website, please don't. My Shopify store has really helped my business, and she did it in the very beginning. And how long have you been doing it, Fawn? When did you join? Because I don't remember when you joined me. My apologies, but Fawn, she just came in killing it. Um, do I have more earrings like those? These right here? Yes, they're on my website. They're called I Will Walk. No. I Will Walk 500 Miles? Yeah, they're on my website. How do you help boost your teammates that have a lower self-esteem or um, those always on the fence? So I'm going to tell you this. Sometimes people have a personal problem and they have to deal with, that's why I say you have to have confidence and you have to um, get out of your emotions. If I, if, if that, I don't want that to sound as, I don't want that to sound insensitive, but you have to. And me as a team leader, leader I'm not here to like, babysit those emotions or pet people or be like oh my god like you get what i'm saying like we're here to do business if that's what you want to do i can help you i can't be like oh i want to do it today i don't want to do it tomorrow i can't i can't i can't i can't do flip flop like if we're gonna do it i'm gonna show you how to win but you gotta have confidence and there's gonna be discouraging moments there's gonna be times where you just don't feel like doing this or feel like doing that but you have to press past those emotions and keep moving so people that that stay in a pit i i don't i don't have time to go and um, be trying to save people like that. So you definitely have to have intrinsic motivation. You have to like what you do and you have to want it for your, the own, your own reasons that you want, whatever it is. Right. You know what I'm saying? When people go to school or they go want, trying to get a new job or go get an education because they want a certain job, they're motivated for whatever reason it is. They're motivated to major in this field because they want this, this, that I can't, you know, give you motivation for something you say you want. So if you're here, I'm assuming that you want it. So the only thing I could do is help them to go get it, right? So they have to work on their own personal self-esteem, their own personal development on their own. So, you know what I'm saying? Um, what was the next question? When would I recommend getting a system like Common Sold whenever you're ready? Like, you got to know when you're ready. Um, I probably should have done it long before I did. But um, with the the, long, the length of time it was taking us to invoice, um, mm -mm, we had to. So it just depends. You got to do research on it and see what's best for you because it does cost. Customers said they don't like the website because it makes them sign in or sign up to purchase. So, Angela, what you got to do is you have to look at... Um, ways of making your website user friendly i don't know what website that is you're talking about because with shopify you could check out as a guest or you can create an account so you need to make sure you know what are you looking at what are you offering look into that check out yourself and see what the process is like so make it user friendly right because um and then two, what customers are those? Are those just people that really just don't want to buy and they're making excuses, right? Because people, if they really want something, they're going to go to the website and buy it because we do it on Amazon. We do it on, um, we do it on Old Navy. We do it on Forever 21. We do it. So what? You check who you're talking to, too. Um, do a one and done live. I don't know what that response was for. You are welcome. You're welcome. So I know I need Shopify quick. Baby, Shopify make money when I'm asleep and I love it. Is Shopify hard? I told you it could be, it depends on what you, your uh, perception of hard. So I can't, I can't really answer that. I, I can't really answer that um, based on what you're telling me. Did I forget to dag on? Oh, I think I printed another one on accident or did, oh, hold on. Let me make sure that I label all these bags. Cause sometimes I don't label it. And then we have another name on there. Oh, yep. Girl, look what y'all doing to me. Hold on. How be gonna be like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yeah. All right, about to, we're gonna wrap it up soon. Business and emotions don't mix. Thanks, babe, like you can't, you can't be in your emotions when it comes to business. Like it's it's not, it's, 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 it's business, it's not personal. <laughs> you joined July 2020 and started your web store as soon as your kid came in. Fine is a G, a MVP. <laughs> What do you do when you're upper, huh? And didn't finish training you. Um, I don't know what you do in that case, Catherine, because um, I didn't have that problem, but I will tell you, 
So many people get hung up on my sponsor didn't do this, my sponsor didn't do that. Da da da. First of all, check to see why that happened because be, be accountable, be responsible. Maybe it was something you did, right? Check yourself and find out why, right? But don't get stuck up on that. Like there's too many YouTube videos out there. There's there's Google, everything's Googleable, right? And paparazzi's been around almost 10 years. So there's so much information that you can find about it or whatever business you're in. So to say that, oh, I'm, oh I can't move forward because they did this and they're, they're not training me and they're not doing this and they're not doing that. That's like an excuse. I'm just going to be real. So you got to move past that. It's like, are you going to let them hinder you from the success that you can obtain in this business? Or are you just going to keep moving and be like, okay, well, at least I got in. I got in with you. So I'm going to go find where I need somewhere else. Like different like trainings that I do like this. And I have trainings on my CQ Drills um, YouTube page and stuff like that. So, you know, you just got to keep moving. They're, they're no longer a factor. You know, if, if it's going to be that way, like I wouldn't keep, I wouldn't waste no time. I just keep moving. Um, I don't know what you mean. Um, Candace talking about the Papa side as far as what? Can you elaborate on that? Fix that label. Babe, I'm gonna, I'm gonna knock you out. Mama gonna knock you out. You just, I didn't know you heard that. My goodness today. How did you get your husband on board with paparazzi or was he always supportive from the start of the business? Um, he was supportive to a certain extent, but I'll let him comment on that. Um, because, you know, he, he probably needs to address that himself. Um, they can go straight from business page to your Shopify if they want, if they have one. Yeah, uh, I don't know what that was responding to. But um, I got to count these these pieces right here. Tori, can you do me a favor? Um, I should have asked Fawn too. But Tori, can you share this to the team page for me? So I don't have to? Because I might forget. Oh yeah, I got what I need. And what else do y'all have? Cause someone's supposed to be coming. Um, let me make sure they didn't text me. Nope, not yet. Miss Jallo, I don't know if you're. Oh, and Miss Jallo messaged me, Tori, and I, I just the code is holiday. Let me. Oh, this one got a lot going on on this bag. I have to change that. Thank you, Tori. What's up, Adi? Let me see. Um, what was the when the when the sis says people don't want to go to the site because they had to. Oh, so yeah, um, we're not talking about the paparazzi site. Um, I don't you I don't send my customers to my paparazzi site. I only send people to my paparazzi site when they want to sign up for the business. So that's different. Then maybe you need to get a Shopify if that's what if that's the problem. Um, I send people to my personal website because um, I don't I'm not paparazzi got a whole warehouse. And, and I'm going to shop their warehouse and I'm going to get their product. I want to move the stuff that I got in my hand right here and right now. So, and I want that money instantaneously. Okay. So, um, I don't send people to my paparazzi website unless I am, um, they're going to join my team pretty much. What is up? Re another boss in the building. Another winner. Do you have to have a printer for your website? Um, Catherine, you guys, I got to tell you, please be as descriptive as you can when you're asking me questions because I don't know, like, I'm not sure what you're saying. And it might have been something in relation to something I said a minute ago. And I want to make sure I'm addressing it properly but because I don't know what that means, actually. So help me help you because I don't know if you're talking about common soul. You're talking about Shopify. I'm not sure. I'm new to team winners. What's up, Shanika? I'm new. Oh, you joined under Pam? Girl, you got a good one. Pam joined under me. I'm reading comments. I'm I'm here. Y'all forgive me if it's not eye contact, but um, I'm here. I'm just reading comments from my iPad because it's easier. Um, thank you, thank you. Uh, 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 uh. You're new to Team Winners under Pam. Happy to be connected to great people. I'm excited about this journey and nervous, but ready to have fun. You got a good one, and Pam is gonna show you like she's a she's bomb. You are very welcome. Thanks, Tori. I was responding to Angela. Oh, okay, cool. Are you dropping gems? Um, you know, just sharing is caring. Hashtag. And look at these. Hey. Cutie, cutie, patootie. Cutie, cutie, patootie. What's up, Ronnie? Babe, are you going to... Can you answer that question with how did you get involved in the business? Because um, they want to know how you got involved. And trust and believe, my nails are going to look different probably tomorrow. But, um, babe, they want to know how you got involved. 
I don't want to tell your testimony. Because <laughs> I can't tell it like you can tell it. Let me see. What's the name? We're going to have an app pretty soon. I'm so excited. I'm about to... Let me see how long I've been on. We're about to... I thought I heard myself. We're about to get off, though, because I've been on for a minute. Any other question? I'll answer a couple more questions, and then I'm going to go. Because I've been on for a minute, and I do want to save this to um, YouTube, too. I wore, I want to post it on YouTube. Please, we need more hubby's sharing. Um, I don't mind him sharing. It's just if he wants to. So y'all can ask him. He's K Dre Key. Y'all can ask him. <laughs> he has a lot to share. You are welcome. Let me see. Any other questions? I'm looking. You're welcome. Wait, that was. Do 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 do. It's another one somewhere. I'm gonna have to put this to the side. Was that the one I put over there? No. Let me see what you said. Crazy thing is I saw you on YouTube signing up. Um, oh, signing up with Pam. And I'm like, oh, she looked like the girl, like the girl on um, YouTube. You watch the video, all my videos. Uh, so you and you didn't join the right team. See what I'm saying? You, you up on the winning team. I'm going to have to count that one again. You came in late, but I will be pressing the replay for the gems. Awesome. All right. So if y'all don't have any questions, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to bounce. So y'all good? Y'all good. Y'all give me a thumbs up if you're good. If you're good. If you have more questions, then comment. But if y'all good, thumbs up it. And um, and we good. And then I'm a oh, that's pretty. Oh, look, he just responded. He was in the process of starting. I, I'm gonna read it to make it quicker. I was in the pro this is my hubby. Someone asked how did he get involved? He said I was in the process of starting an e-commerce store while she was doing lives on Instagram. But once the site came into play, it was better for me to move over and help her build first. Then there was more to help in other areas after that. I did support her initially starting a business, but um, business and spending the money for it. There you go. Yaskaya said, you are such a blessing to so many people in your teachings and the father put you in the right position to do the right thing so people like to run to you it's good oh thanks yaskaya i like you gotta like you can't have all this information and not help people and i too i get so many messages in my inbox y'all it's like crazy i feel like i gotta do a video and i gotta talk more about it because i can't answer every question and sometimes i just be like i, I just send people to my channel because i can't i can't respond to everything and then be there for my team too Thank you for the information. I'm in the jewelry room now. Awesome. How do you promote your Shopify site? Ooh la la. Ooh la la la. That's a loaded question. I don't think I can get into that today, but I just, just put it like this. Every time I make a post, every time I post a picture, um, we're always talking about um, the website. Let's just say that. It's always, it's always mentioned. It's always put out there. Everyone knows that I have it. I've been promoting it for four years and like I did, I didn't let up on it. It was always like website, website, website. Right. And I just, I stayed consistent with it. And so now people will probably go check my website before they even come to a live. Cause it's just, it's just, um, second nature type thing. So just, um, consistency is, I guess the best way to answer that question. That that's the, that's the, uh, short and sweet answer short and sweet and hard to be did y'all see that other bracelet that i show oh my god like i can't wait to get into her it's some oh it's some it's some it's some goodies all right you're welcome so i guess that's it y'all oh i had another one. Oh, these must have it says Wait, I'm going to have to recheck that quantity too. So that's it, y'all. I appreciate y'all. I will catch y'all in another video. And I'll put this up on the tube for those of you guys that are catching it late. All right? Um, Wait, what'd she say? 
Do you upload to Shopify first before the live? And do you send invoices after each live from Shopify? Shanika, um, no. I use comments. So I talked about that in the beginning too and um, earlier in here. But no, um, I use, I don't invoice anymore unless I just have to. I don't invoice. Um, I use an automated system to invoice, which is comments sold. And items go to Shopify as soon as we place an order. And my Shopify and my comments sold talk. So as soon as stuff is uploaded to Shopify, it goes into comments sold. So excuse me, it's already in there for the live. Anytime you post a pic of your jewelry, put your website in the post. That's what has been bringing the traffic to my site. Yep, yep, fine, that is it. That's what I do and that's what I've been doing. You're welcome, Yaskaya. You are welcome. You were talking about, uh-oh, you were talking about emotions. I just got a team. How do you make sure to have balance between empathy and pushing someone to go for their goals? You just have to have discernment, really. You know what I mean? You have to have discernment and you have to learn people and um, filter um, out things. That's that's the best way I can say, right? You have to make sure that you are giving um, equal time to your business as well and make sure that you're not like becoming like a psychiatrist for um, other people on the team, right? Because you're not, you're not in this as a leader to be a psychiatrist. You're like in this to help people get where they're going or hopefully get where you have already been. Um, if not, you guys are there to grow together and, um, we have to move forward and emotions cannot take over that process. Like it's, it's not an emotional thing. It's business. So that's the concise answer, right? Of course we can always get deeper than that. But that's where I'll leave it and um, I'm going to have a second closing, but I'm really going to close this time. So um, I appreciate you guys for coming on. Thank you so much. Um, I'll probably um, I'll probably do it again. I don't know what I'll talk about. I was just feeling inspired to hop on. So I'll see you guys next time. Deuces. Oh, you here? Deuces. <laughs> Bye.